good day. The said television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Sons of Western Armenia, Vahagan Vartevanyan, on the issue of the Armenians of Western Armenia, Azerbaijan bans Red Cross vehicles from Berzor Road, questions to the American ambassador, the people of Artsakh have sent him a letter, Azerbaijan's ambassador to the EU warned of threats against Council of Europe deputies visiting Armenia. We have wounded in the direction of the village of Tech, the units of the Azerbaijani armed forces forces opened fire. Excavations have begun at the castle on the summit of Mount Hatis. With the efforts of the High Dersim platform, a concert will be held in Dersim. Vahagan Vartevanyan was born on December 27, 1966 in Yerevan. From 1985 to 1987, he completed his compulsory military service in the Soviet Army. Since 1993, he had been a senior lieutenant in the RA Army, commanding a volunteer assault squad of freedom fighters. On the night of April 21, 1994, he and 38 members of his team positioned themselves on the outstrikes of the village of Karmiravan in the Martaget region of Artsakh. The the team faced the threat of encirclement, where Tevanyan and 13 other freedom fighters from his team take fire on themselves, ordering the others to retreat. Even after the death of 13 freedom fighters from the encircled squad, the wounded commander continues to fight alone until the bullets run out. Rejecting the enemy's offer to surrender, he blew himself up along with four enemy soldiers who approached with a grenade he had. He is buried at the Yerabulur military pantheon in Ravan. He was posthumously awarded the first degree orders of the Combat Cross of the Array and Artsakh and by decree of President Arkadi Hukazian on May 8, 2006 for outstanding services in organizing the defense of Artsakh. He demonstrated courage and personal bravery, posthumously awarded Hero of Artsakh the highest rank and the Order Golden Eagle. Until the 19th century, Kochari was danced only by older men, and when the dance lost its ritual significance and became commonplace, women also began to dance it. Interestingly, on November 28, 2018, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Agency, UNESCO's Commission for the Safeguarding of the Intangible Cultural Heritage, at its 30th session registered the Yali dance as intangible cultural heritage in need of immediate protection. It was registered under the following name, Yali. Ali, Kochari, Tanzare, traditional collective dances of Nahijevan. This event received a great response in Armenia, in particular the director of the Center for the Study of Western Armenian Issues, Armenian scholar Hai Kazun Alvartian, criticized the current and former ministers of culture for allowing such a thing to happen. Baku Media write that traffic in International Committee of the Red Cross cars on the Berzo Road has been temporarily halted. The Azerbaijan Border Guard Service reported that Armenians in Red Cross vehicles had attempted to transport illegal goods. It should be noted that a criminal case has been opened and the corridor will remain closed until the investigation is completed. A group of Artsakh citizens have organized an action in front of the U.S. Embassy demanding a meeting with Christina Quinn, the U.S. Ambassador to Armenia, regarding her latest statement. In a conversation with Armen Press, the president of the executive body of the Engel, Hanun Hadrut, the organizer of the action, Levon Hayriyan, mentioned that Artsakh has been under blockade for over 200 days and there is no prospect of when it will be blockade. Our aim is to send a letter to the U.S. Embassy and request a meeting with the ambassador as his latest interview raised questions for us. In particular, the question of positioning Artsakh within the Baku framework. Artsakh was included in Azerbaijan by the dictator Stalin. It turns out that the United States leader and standard bearer of war democracy, the greatest defender of human rights and supporter of the right of nations to self-determination, is leaving aside the right of nations to self-determination and deciding with the dictator Stalin and supporting his decision. We'd like to hear the answer to those questions at the meeting with the American ambassador. Ambassador said Hayriyan at the meeting with the American Embassy representative. Levon Hayriyan mentioned that some Artsakh settlements continue to be occupied by the Baku authorities and that forcibly displaced Artsakh citizens are in Libo and would like to know the U.S. approach regarding the future of forcibly displaced Artsakh citizens. The government of Western Armenia supports the demand of the people of Artsakh. We have even responded to speeches by former and current ministers of Eastern Armenia. Now, as a reminder, let's say that Artsakh, in addition to being part of the state of 
the Armenian Foreign by Pagos Nubar is also subject to all international laws. Artsakh signed the armistice agreement of the first Artsakh war as a full party with Eastern Armenia and Azerbaijan on May 12, 1994, covering an area of 12.5 thousand square kilometers. It is incomprehensible to us all these complaints and appeals where the people of Artsakh want to prove the obvious truth instead of solving problems in court, like the displaced persons from Shushi in whose case Western Armenia has already taken legal actions before the ECHR. The offices of the President of the European Parliament, Roberta Mezzola, and the European Union's High Commissioner for External Relations, Joseph Borrell, have condemned and described as unacceptable the behavior of Azerbaijan's ambassador to the EU, Vagif Sadikov, who threatened members of the European Parliament who visited Armenia and discovered the border with Azerbaijan. Vagif Sadikov was summoned on the European External Relations Service for the threatening message sent on Twitter to the EC members of Parliament. Sadikov made a post on Twitter about the visit of the European Parliament delegation to Armenia, threatening the MEP. The topic was covered by the OC Media News platform, citing reactions to Sadikov's message from EU spokeswoman and head of the delegation visiting Armenia, Council of Europe member Natalie Luazo. The EU spokesperson stressed that they condemn such behavior, which is not appropriate for an ambassador accredited to the EU. The Azerbaijan ambassador's threatening message was also addressed by EU observer, which spoke to Natalie Luazo. Natalie Loazo said she had sent letters to the President of the European Parliament and European High Commissioner for Foreign Affairs, Joseph Borrell, regarding Sadikov's post. Joseph Borrell's office noted that the European External Relations Service had called the Azerbaijan ambassador about the post and made it clear that they expected this to be the last time Azerbaijani diplomacy showed such disrespect for the EU institutions and their representatives. Natalie Loazo added that the threatening and insulting note from Azerbaijan's ambassador to the the EU was not the only one addressed to the Council of Europe deputies who had visited Armenia, pointing out that other Azerbaijani officials had also described them as corrupt. Natalie Loazo pointed out that the Azerbaijani president also uses such rhetoric. On July 12, at 5.30, the units of the Azerbaijani armed forces opened fire at the Armenian positions located in the tech sector, as a result of which a serviceman of the Armenian forces of the Republic of Armenia was wounded. This was reported by the Minister of Defense of the Republic of Armenia. The serviceman's condition is assessed as satisfactory. His life is not in danger. The archaeological expedition of the Institute of Archaeology and Ethnography of the Array National Academy of Sciences has begun excavations on the territory of the newly discovered fortress on Mount Hatis, Gotaik region, Array, reports the Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sports. The fortress is located on the conical peak of Hatis. A three meter wide entrance has been preserved in the eastern wall. The best preserved part of the fence, around three meter long, is over ten rows high. The expedition team comprises six Armenian and Italian archaeologists. The data obtained to date, the site to the Bronze and Iron Ages, the Antiquity and the Middle Ages, among the archaeological finds examples of shells from different periods, examples of obsidian aroused from the Bronze Age and Iron spread head, various items of stone, iron and bronze jewelry and a silver coin with the image of Alexander the Great can be distinguished. Excavations are scheduled for completion by the end of August. On August 12, 2023, at 7.15 p.m., a concert of unity and solidarity with the slogan We Were, Are and Will Be will be held in St. Riza Square in the town of Dersin, Western Armenia. The organizers are members of the High Dersin platform. During the concert, Umut Altonchak will perform accompanied by several musicians. In addition to the concert, the High Dersin platform representative and the journalist from the weekly August will give speeches reflecting on the purpose of the event and the roots of Armenian culture. The aim of the concert organizers is to unite the indigenous Armenians of Dersim and give them the opportunity to express themselves and show united participation in the events taking place here, as well as to remind them of their existence, roots, origin and rights. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. Azo <laughs> 
հինգ մուղ ամբազել նրան կաշարկասի շատ ամի, գորչիք ես մեն գստալամ մեկ կոմիցնել ահտավի, էդ մասին ալ հոգմոլով, ույստալավ ինձ մերցան։ 